All right, so let's discuss, child. So, I like these apartments. Now, so sign on right here is attached to the top. Your package is going to go there. It'll send you a code. And we came to the conclusion that I don't like stuff that made me feel like I'm poor or that I don't have. And not because when I was a kid, when I was a kid, hearing movies was the best thing I could do. I ain't never had movies before, but. Going without Welcome to the vlog today. I don't know if I'm gonna put this with another vlog because I did do some, um, I did do some apartment shopping already. But today I'm going to look at four apartments and I'm taking y'all with me, bitch. You know I'm sexy. Hey, don't call, just text me. I am that girl. G I I don't know the song, but. I'm going to look at some apartments, so I'm getting ready to go do that. And yeah, I took the day off of work so I could do this. It's actually Thursday, not Friday. Did I say Friday? It's Thursday. So we're going to look at some apartments. Four of them. It's one, well, two of them I'm really interested in looking in. Two of them I'm not really crazy about. But I'm just going to see what's going on and see how I feel about them. So yeah, let's go. Well, let me finish getting ready and then we'll talk in a minute. I'm charging my battery for my camera. So, all right. Yeah. It's cold, y'all. Like, really cold. I'm letting my car warm up um, for a few minutes. I ain't let my car warm up, warm up in so long since I was in Detroit. You know, when that snow hit that ground, you gotta let that car warm up, baby. So, I'm letting my car warm up. I'm gonna go stop and get me some coffee, probably, I think. Maybe. And we're going to be on our way to the first apartment. I got four appointments today. Um, I have four appointments today. So, one at 11, one at, no, one at 10, one at 11.30, one at 1, and one at 4. I might look for an apartment in between time, though, just to go to. But we'll see. Because I think I want to view another one. But, all right. I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Fuck the world, I'm gonna walk in erection Speed without a thought, we do it reckless yeah. Alright, so let's discuss, child So, I like these apartments Now, I said that I didn't want uh, When I moved into my current apartment I wanted an apartment that was closed then when you come in So you're not like cold when you walk outside This one, you walk outside Um This one you walk outside. I do like that they have a lot of guest parking. Um, I wish they had an island that was like by itself, like a standalone island. But I could do without a standalone island. It's not that serious. They are renovating a lot of things because they just took over the property. So a lot of the stuff is going to be new. They're going to redo a lot of stuff. So I think that's going to be real nice. Um, and what else? It's in a central, like a nice area, like a central location. Pretty nice. I felt safe. Like, it feels safe over here. She said, I do have a courtesy officer. He's around all the time because he works in this area. So, basically, like 24 7, which is nice. Um, what else she said? It's a little bit out of my budget. Not really because I said I wanted to pay a certain amount. Um, I think they're cute. The Lisa consultant said she loved my makeup too. She was like, your makeup looks so fucking good. You, she was like, it look like skin. I was like, I gotta tell her the brushes too. I forgot. Mm. I was like, thank you, girl. Cause I've been feeling like lately. I told her thank you. Cause as a, as being feminine, you gotta learn how to accept. So people tell you something look good, just say thank you. But I'm telling y'all, I've been feeling like my makeup haven't been looking right, but I do like this makeup. I think it looked cute. It looked natural. You said, baby, it don't be mad. You know how pretty it is. Let's discuss. 
this not it. <laughs> Intuitively, I don't feel like this is it. Um, they were cute apartments. The girl, the Lisa Casata was cool. Her birthday was June eighth, so you know I love a Gemini. She was cool. This just not it. It's just not it. I don't feel it. I don't feel like I would want to live here. I don't feel like oh, I just don't feel it. <laughs> so I won't be living here. I think it's funny too because the girl that did my uh that did my um my the Lisa consultant she was like yeah on on the reviews they said that she act like Jekyll and Hyde but she a Gemini so sometimes she want to be bothered probably and sometimes she don't which is funny to me but yeah I just wasn't feeling that I didn't wasn't feeling the Lisa office the vibe I wasn't feeling like oh this is where I could see myself it smelled good as fuck in there like my apartment but that just wasn't it and then just to hear how they talk Back to four and no You should hear how they talk He might be Mr. Track and Phil But I done ran through a ball Then that nigga play the game Just to watch how it ball I ain't never home for no But you pull up when I call All the hood niggas respect me Strippers wanna sex me You press the river Now we mad because you mad me in love Sex fucked up And that's kind of triggering for me. <laughs> so, yeah, that was going to be enough. They are cute, though, in the inside. It's like you walk up to them, and their amenities are okay. They not. They're pretty basic. It just reminds me of my mama's senior living apartment. And I just don't. I don't like that feeling. So, this is this one is enough. Um, It's some apartments right next to these. I got to take y'all off the tripod. It's some apartments right next to these. That I'm about to see if I can do a tour it. But I don't think I'm going to like them either, to be honest. But we'll see. Alright, I'm going to call y'all right back in a minute. So we at the last apartment finally for today. Um, it is like another apartment I want to go look at, and then another one in another area in its entirety. But for this area that I'm in, I done looked everywhere in this area that I feel like I would want to stay. That's in my budget. I this is the first apartment that I went to on Sunday, but I forgot to record for some reason. I don't have a video of it in my phone, so I rescheduled another appointment. I was going to go to another apartment, but I, I know they got my budget, so I ain't even no point of me even stepping foot up in that thing. Uh, so, I'm going to this apartment to get some more footage, just to see, like, to compare. Because when I sit down tonight, I really need to sit down and compare and look at pricing and look at all of that. Um, I'm telling myself that everything don't have to be perfect. I just want to be somewhere safe. I want to be somewhere where I like the apartment. It's cute, and I can make it my own. And I'm only got to only gotta be here for a year. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm telling myself. So, because I keep on going with it, keep looking at apartment, apartment, apartment. And I feel like I really do like these apartments. Um, they are the same company, but I feel like these are newer. So, yeah. All right, talk to you in a minute. She's wearing cheetah print. That's how bad she want to be spotted right, boy. I don't like no whips and chains and you can't tie me down. But you could whip your loving on me, baby. So somebody just moved from this apartment. Yeah, if y'all can already say, y'all know a lot of basic apartments are pretty basic. Got the gray countertop. I do like the white kitchen. Think it's cute. And then they got this for the coat. I don't know why this focus look like this. 
I want a new camera so bad, y'all. But this is the coat closet. And then, okay. This is the living room. Then, this is the first bedroom. You come through the door, let's go to the bathroom. These are the drawers. This, this is the first closet. I do like that this apartment does have the, the same closet space in each room. Cause I have a lot of stuff. This is the second bedroom. This is the second bathroom. And this is the other closet space. Which is cute. Um, this is also the view, which is a pretty nice view, if you ask me. This one available now, and I'm not moving until the end of February, March, so she'll know what else will be available during that time. But this apartment is pretty cute. Um, yeah, I feel like it's pretty cute. All right. So I will talk to y'all in a minute. I just literally need to get some footage because I'm like, let me see how I feel. I feel like these are cute. I feel like they can be decorated to be cute. So I just gotta make my decision and my choice to see which one I'm going to apply to. And yeah, there's that. So I will talk to y'all in a minute. It's it's good for the soul. Only been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. Only gone for a year, only go like once. Life move fast when you do what you want. Like this, I'm doing what I want. Hope you know what you want. But she don't love me, she's too scary My hope is fun like Jackie Brown I wanna know what she too down Will you be my leading lady? I want a contract, get no baby In the meantime, it's the meantime Beast like Odell. Oh, oh, oh. Over my killers don't tell. Shut over my cause the New York to shut. Oh, oh. Now my bitch is to Chanel. Will you be my leading lady? I wanna call you and get a little baby. In the meantime, it's not going well. It's the meantime. Only been a few hours, but it feel like days. Only been days, but it feel like months. Only gone for a year, only go like once. Life move fast, and you do what you want. In the meantime, it's not going well. Huh? It's so so today is Sunday. Going to do some apartment hunting today. I really don't feel like it. Um, but I'm going to look at two apartments. One at three o'clock and one at twelve o'clock. The other one only had three o'clock available, so yeah, there's that. Um, yeah, um, that's it. So it's like ten. I think it's eleven o'clock now. I'm probably gonna leave out at eleven thirty because the other, this apartment is like twenty minutes away from my house. I'm gonna go look at it and see what's going on. The two apartments that I'm looking at today do have move-in special, so that's good because I did want an apartment that had one month move in special or two month move in special so that I can take a break from paying rent child just just and then already be ahead because I could just pay it during those months and still just be ahead for the month so I don't have to worry about it that's always a perk so so a lot of apartments in Atlanta are expensive as hell like in actual midtown and they have two month specials but you were paying four thousand dollars for rent so who doing that so it was i went on this thing online it's called apartment amigo you can put in deals you can put in the surrounding areas and i saw um 
one of these apartments I already had a tour for, but I saw another apartment on there and I was like, oh, let me just see. So yeah, we're going to see that one. So let's go. Um, I'm cold. I need to probably put, yeah, get myself together and make sure I got everything. Cause my ass be waiting last minute and then I'll be looking crazy when it's time to do everything. This shirt, I don't know what this little stain is on here. If y'all can see, it look like it's cracked. But I'm still wearing it today because I don't got time for the jokes. I don't, I, I don't even know what else to put on. I just threw this on. All right, talk to y'all in a minute. Okay, so let's talk this apartment. This apartment was on the west side. I've never lived on the west side. And I did not like the vibes. It was a brand new um, property. But, like, it was, like, old houses on the side of the street. And I'm not good with areas in Atlanta just because I'm just not. But, yeah, it was going to be a no. I didn't like the vibe. And I felt like the people looked like they would run up in your house. Like, I would probably be scared that somebody was going to steal my stuff. Or it, it, it was just a lot of riffing and rafting. I'm going to say that. Rift and rafting. But the, I'm going to say the apartments do look nice. Now that I'm watching this back and editing, the apartments are nice as hell. But this just wasn't my vibe. So if you do go look at these apartments, you got to kind of know what you're getting to yourself on the west side. And people that I know that are from Atlanta say the people on the west side are weird. That I Don't shoot the messenger now. That's what they would tell me. The people that I know. So, yeah. Okay. What up, don't know? What up, don't know? Drop it to the floor. My name is Let's Low. Hey, that thing's pop. You know I'm not a doc. You know I'm not a cop, but you know I can't pop. So, your girl can't pop. But I try. I make that thing work. I make that thing turn. We got Juicy Crab with it one time. Excuse me, Becca. Ladies wear purse. Ladies wear their purse. Oh, when I went. No, when I I went to look at some apartments. They gave me some drinks. Y'all know I take snacks and drinks. I ain't never even really hungry. I ate breakfast, but I'm gonna eat me some little juice. Why did I put baby in there? Mm. But yes, it's been a long time. Hold on, let me get situated. Just wait a second. Okay, I'm gonna like this. You, are you free? You yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Don't oh, she look cute with her hair? Oh, thank you. It's been a long time coming. Um, it's been a while since we hung out, and we are here because. You know, sometimes people get into relationships and stuff, or like Girl, they, they have a child. I just or something. seen her. <laughs> can I get? Can I finish? Go ahead. They get a they get they get with a child or sometimes you know they get caught up into work and then they just start neglecting their friends. No, I I think she's hypothetically speaking, guys. I talk to her often. <laughs> She's hypothetically speaking, you know how that go, but and then sometimes I speak with her often, so you just get used to hanging out with somebody and talk to them very frequently. But I'm letting you know now, don't get comfortable because the only thing that's constant is change. This change, read it now, read it down. The only thing constant is change. People life change. Everybody ain't got to pick up for you every time you call. Now y'all ain't friends no more. She don't answer. People got their life going on. Shit, high inflation. They trying to figure out their money. Okay, you can. Be on the phone with me while you figure out, <laughs> figure out your money with me. <laughs> I can help you budget. <laughs> See, you right, and your friends. Right here, you went to Juicy Crab too many times. That's why you've been you eating out every day. <laughs> Talking about inflation is high. I can't pay nothing. Girl, it's, it's the money going out. It's too much money going it's out. Too much. It's money coming in, but it's too much going out. It's you're the one that's coming You need to cook at home, make a sandwich. Sometimes you need to cook at home. 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 Shit, make some shit you can eat for days. Just like they said, my mama said, I got food at home. <laughs> I got food at home. This is a privilege. Your food you make at home be better though anyway, for it real. Be better. You eat out, you be done waste your whole $30. They be looking crazy. But seriously, like it ain't even good. Celebrating. Like, out to eat is a celebration. We just don't need to be out to eat and we need to Yeah, you right. Just out to eat. That's all I People from back in the day used to eat. They used to ask how you doing. Good, how you doing? Um, three, you ain't know one more person. One more person? Yeah. Give me one second. Yeah, you can take your time. No rush at all. Maybe she wasn't supposed to sit us if, if the other person weren't here. I never feel like I never had a male uh, waiter at Juicy Crab. It's always a female. I don't think I really take your Are your lashes long? You have long it's lashes. I like triple my mascara. Do you have natural long lashes? Yeah, you do. This it. It's all me. Girl, I just seen a girl do her lashes. She used um something benefit. Her lashes look just like that. I was like, I want I want it so bad. I want my be able to put mascara on my lashes just so, like they pop. But I'm a hairy girl. Like everything. Like I, I'm a hairy girl. I be having a lot of hair on my arm, my leg. So I'm just oh yeah, your lashes are long. Yeah. So, yeah. Mine stick straight out. Girl, they short. 
I do like two, when I do my eyebrows, I do like two, three strokes, and I put the silver. I don't know. Oh, dang. They look good. good. And that's all, okay. So, if y'all need to know that song, you apply mascara, let it semi dry, apply again, let it semi dry, and apply one more time, and boom. Yeah, period. Because this is a beauty channel. Do you wiggle the wine? Like this? They said you gotta wiggle that wine. That's what I'm gonna put back. I'll be blinking like this. Oh, okay, blinking into it. Okay. Blink into it. That's the tutorial. Blink into <laughs> it. Three three coats. Let the first one dry, then proceed. Let the second one dry, then proceed. Semi dry. Then you have be, popping lashes. It can't be super dry. They gotta be semi dry. Semi dry. Then with that second coat. Period. Hello, vlog. Hello, How are vlog. You? Here today at Juicy Crab. Juicy Mailbox is going to be mailbox number one when you go to the mailbox, which is when you come to the gate. Um, package locker. It's right outside this door. So if you go to this, go down. All right, I'm about to go get me some oysters because I'm hungry. Then we're going to start the rest of the day. Um, welcome to the vlog. Today is Saturday. My move is tomorrow, which is kind of stressful. But I'm going to get me some oysters. And then I'm going to uh, the charity. And then I'm going to my coworker house to take her some stuff. And then I'm going to come back and finish packing. And this shit will be out of my house tomorrow and I'll be in my new place. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. Alright, so let's go. Alright, back home. I went to CNS and got some oysters, salad. It was good. The salad wasn't all that. It was a house salad. But the oysters were good. And they do brunch around this time. I went for lunch. So, yeah. Now I'm about to go to my coworker house to take her this stuff. And then I'm going to um, going to the charity to take them these clothes. And then I'm coming back this way to grab some things so that I can um, go to the apartment and take them. So, yeah. All right. Let's get to it. So, I mean, looking at them sideways. Okay, so I finally found my dang on things for my camera. I bought these from Amazon, but child, the sticky part gets unsticky, and then you gotta reuse it, which I don't like. That I think I'm gonna get an actual like tripod for my car, but the first ones come like this, and I can stick my camera on there without it moving. Well, at first it comes like this, and then I can stick my camera on there without it moving. So I just have it on my dashboard. And they are good, but they get unsticky after a while. So I'm so ready to be moved and be done, child. Like, I'm ready to be moved. I'm ready to just. I'm nervous about spending the first night at my house, though, for some reason, my new house. But I'm ready to be moved. I'm ready for my shit to be there. I'm ready to just relax and chill, have my TV up. I'm just ready. What's up? I'm back in the house. Do y'all remember when I bought that vacuum? To try to put my cushion back on my couch. I remember child. And. That shit was all bad. Remember. And I had to go to the upholstery shop and let him do it. But the vacuum is coming in handy now. Because I can vacuum. Excuse me. The vacuum is coming in handy now. Because I can vacuum up my couch. I mean vacuum out my couch. Because I have not. I didn't have a vacuum in this couch. Since I got it. Which is not good. <laughs> I got my mover. He's coming at 3.30 tomorrow. I was going to do 8 in the morning, but the other mover, he's a, well, the first mover that I had was for 3.62. He said 3.62 for two hours. After any additional hours are $99. So that would have ran me like 4.62. If he goes over the time frame, that would have been $99 more. So. It was another guy that said I could do $450 flat rate. No time limit. I said say no more. So, when I move, I'm going to try to do me a deep cleaning once a week. Because, child, all this dust up on this shit and dirt, just trifling. I ain't going to hold you. 
it ain't bad in my bathroom, but some of my stuff did have dust on there. Like, I was like, I need to buy a duster and like dust my stuff. Cause you gotta take care of what you got. I was talking to my friend and I was telling her like, because where I'm moving, I feel like it's not as luxurious as my current apartment. And I was struggling with the fact that I'm moving somewhere else, but I will be paying less money. So I am proud of that. I am happy about that. I feel like it's going to give me financial freedom. I'm going to be able to really focus on the things that I really want to do. And I'm going to be able to like work on my credit and do all of that. And my friend was like, you have a problem. Well, we was talking and we came to the conclusion. That I don't like stuff that made me feel like I'm poor or that I don't have. And not because when I was kid, when I was a kid, something happened. But it's just certain stuff I just don't like. Like, I want to live a certain type of way. So, uh, she basically was like, well, you was poor living where you at now. Because I was, like, kind of house poor, if that makes sense. Like, I didn't have a job. Well, when my mama passed away, I was working for myself. Then I couldn't snap out of it to still work for myself. So, I kind of was on the rat race trying to, like, get my bills and shit together. Then... I got a job, but now I feel like I get tired of paying so much money towards my rent. So I had to find something that I felt like was more affordable that I actually like. But when I tell you when she said that, I was like, that's so fucking true. Because you could be in the situation that you want to be in. You could be in the house you want to be in. You could be with the person you think you want to be with. but And they could be doing so many amazing things for you. But you could still feel like, I don't even want to do this because I don't. it don't make me feel good. You get what I'm saying? So it's a time and a place for every fucking thing. Just because you may have to take a step back doesn't necessarily mean that you won't ever get back to where you were. These things will be here. A luxury apartment will be here. Uh, whatever you may want is going to be there, but you have to set yourself up to get said thing. You get what I'm saying? So if you're in a place in a season in your life where you feel like you got to take a step back or you need to sit your ass down and focus, we're all transitioning. I seen a girl video talking about just transitioning. And a lot of people was at the bottom like, girl, this is exactly where I'm at in life. Don't feel ashamed. Don't feel bad. We transition into something better. But at some point, you got to look at your life and say, okay, I'm tired of stressing. Because the stress of dealing with like, oh, I'm paying so much towards my rent. To the, I was paying so much towards my rent to the point where I was like, because I still like to eat out. I still like to do what I want to do. I don't have a, like, I'm not really good with like, oh, I can't do this. So I like to do what I want to do. I'm eating out and I'm doing whatever I want to do. Like, and I still got to pay my rent, but I still feel like once I pay my rent, I only got a certain amount of money left. I don't want to feel like that no more. So I had to sacrifice some things to get to where I want to be. This will be a year of sacrifice for me, transition. And if you're going through the same thing, I'm sending you lots of love, child. Because I know we look on people's social media and we look at people's life that we think we know. We look at people's vlogs and we're like, damn, how is it so easy for them? Or how are they able to maintain all of this? But it's people that's really... Some of them people, I ain't gonna say all of them because some people do got it. But some people, some of those people, I'm pretty sure are like, damn, this shit is hard, or I feel like this. Or when your mental is taking a hit, it's like you can't focus on other stuff. Anything can happen. We all have our times when we're up, when we're down. That's a part of life, okay? So if you and your whatever you feel right now, like, okay, I can't do this no more, move on. Make a plan and make a plan and stick to it and do what you got to do to get to where you want to go. Just because you're taking a step back does not mean that you won't get to where you're trying to go. And I'm talking to myself. That's on period, okay? So I encourage you to look at your life and say, okay, let me see. If something is stressing you out, you have to break it down. You have to make a plan so it doesn't stress you out. Because stress can kill you. Like, over, it causes you to overeat. It, the old cortisol levels are high. You could have like a heart attack. It's so much that stress does to the body. You could It could be trapped in your body. It's so much. It's not worth stressing over something that you could just change. Shit. And with my money that I'm going to have freed up, I want to go out of town. I want to travel this year. I want to have financial freedom this year. So... It was things that were important to me when 2024 was coming in. Like, I want to have financial freedom. I want to be able to go out of town and not worry about shit. I want to be able to get my hair and nails done because sometimes I couldn't even get my hair done because my rent and shit is so high. Like, or I, and getting my hair done makes me feel good and getting my nails done makes me feel feminine. Like, I don't want to sacrifice what I enjoy for rent. Like, being house poor is, is, is some bullshit. It's supposed to be like a certain percent of your income that you use towards your rent. Being house poor is like, bitch, you just paying basically for a house. And it's going to be enough as I pack my belongings. Okay? <laughs>
And I got, I got flexi rods, I got perm rods, and one thing. Cause you don't never know, like you might want to, but look at all this damn hair. Like girl. You better watch that shit. Bitch, weave that up or something. Some of this yeah. shit is, I don't even know what, this that week that girl, I'm about to listen to the trash, that girl did on my head, that shit was so cheap. And, oof. And I then. Got, I got, I got packs of hair. I got, look, bitch, I got like two packs of these from when I had locks. Like, why do you got this? And I don't even know if I'm gonna even, probably don't need it though. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it back in here. You might ask yourself, why am I at Lowe's? Because I need some more boxes shot. I only like four. I feel like I really want to decorate um so I got one extra large box I feel like I really want to decorate this apartment so y'all gonna have to help me because child I'm not good at decorating but we're gonna put it together we're gonna work together as a team y'all so my ex got me this card it got our pictures on the front so I don't want to show it but it got a poem in the inside right and I might throw this card in the trash but it got a poem on the inside and he swore to god like oh I wrote the poem but then I ended up finding the poem online one day like it popped up and I was like, why would you lie about writing a poem? I used to write poems in high school. You're a liar. You're a whore. <laughs> it's moving down. Y'all, it's a stain on my shirt and I'm so pissed off. I don't even know how this got here, but I really want to wear this shirt. So I tried to get it off, but it's set in now, but I don't know. I still go. I think I'm still going to wear it, but it's moving in day. <sighs> so the movers will be here at 3.30. And yeah, there's that. So I'm excited and I'm about to get ready to put some, well I'm about to get ready to take my trash out and then I'm going to put some, um, just the bag, the miscellaneous bags inside my car. I'm probably going to take my money tree and my other plant, uh, with me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if my friend is going, uh, if she... It's gonna come over to the house with me because I need to. I put some stuff in her car as well, but we'll see. But all right, we told me he coming early. Child, we supposed to move at three thirty. He talking about he on his way now because he got done with the first people early. I really think he trying to go watch the Super Bowl, but it's all good and dandy because I got everything in here. I got all of this. And this. And this. Then I got all my, my vanity. My last time sitting on my couch in my apartment. You say it? Not really. You not gonna miss my apartment? I'm gonna miss it. I'm not gonna. I didn't lie. get the full experience. I heard movies was the best thing I could do. I ain't never had movies before, but I ain't never going without them again. And I got way more things than when I first moved in my apartment because I didn't have nothing. So really, I didn't need no movies. But you pack your stuff up, they come move it. You give them the money. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's strange. And you're not tired. Look at me. I'm smiling. <laughs> Look at me. I'm just smiling and happy. I don't even feel like I'm moving. I just got one garbage bag. <laughs> I've been putting a little, a little stuff. <laughs> I've been putting a little stuff in the car, but for the most part, they doing a pretty good job. I might give them a tip. You know, I like to tip people. All right, call y'all back. Okay, so let's talk these movers. They actually put their car in my door, and I went with them instead of somebody on Thumbtack. And because they were cheap, they were cheaper than everybody else mostly. But I was like, let me give him a chance because he really did the marketing. It's two brothers that own it. So the younger guy, the other brother isn't there. The older brother, the other brother likes to do like people that are like famous or well known when I went on their Instagram. But the other Instagram is called Fast Affordable Moving Atlanta. I would not suggest them. They were patient. I feel like they did do a good job, but the older guy did take my TV out of my car with nothing on it while it was raining. And I regret this so much because that was my mom's TV. I'm not really attached to it, but it's just the fact of the matter. I turned the TV on and it had water damage and I waited like a week and it still has water damage. So I'm like really disappointed about that. I tried to call and the guy was basically like, oh, I've been doing this five or 10 years. Not the guy on the video, but his brother was like, I've been doing this five or 10 years. And I just hung up on him because he was trying to argue with me like I was one of his little girlfriends. But I, I do not suggest zero out of 10 for sure. All right, y'all, we made it back to the other apartment. 
Oh, it feels so bittersweet leaving this apartment. It just feels so bittersweet. I'm not even gonna lie. I feel like this apartment did do me well. He sat to my first apartment by myself. You did a good job. <laughs>